Mr. Higgins of New York. Thank you, uh, Madam Chair. I, uh, Ambassador, the municipal clerk offices uh, throughout the nation has provided passport services uh, to the State Department uh, for many years. And uh, as far as you know, the record shows, without any problems relative to efficiency and re relative to uh, security. Um, the Inspector General of the State Department has now issued a mandate to municipal clerk offices that the issuance of birth certificates and passports have to be done by in separate facilities uh, and separate uh, personnel. Um, can you enlighten us as to why this is occurring? Thanks. I'd be very glad to, sir. Uh, it's a matter of uh, fraud prevention. Right. Uh, our July 2009 report of the inspection of passport services noted concerns about the vulnerabilities to fraud inherent in the passport application acceptance programs at acceptance facilities countrywide, as well as quality of the source documentation. The report also noted variation in the quality of the department's customer service manager's oversight and training of acceptance agents. We made a series of recommendations to improve oversight and support of acceptance agencies, including closing an acceptance agency where an acceptance agent also issues birth certificates as soon as viable alternative locations for submitting passport applications uh, exist. And the reason for that is a birth certificate is prima, is prima facie evidence of citizenship. If the same person, so there's no double check, if the same person who issues the birth certificate can also accept the application for a passport, right. uh, me, be that as it may, uh, the vast bulk of acceptance facilities have separate windows and personnel for these two functions, although there may be a very few that cannot separate these functions. But I would be glad uh, to offer, because our inspectors are supposed to work quickly, uh, that the Office of Inspections uh, will monitor uh, the response to your letter to the Secretary right. and the impact of compliance with our own recommendations and report back to you, sir. Yet there was a, uh, a May of 2009 Government Accountability Office report uh, that was targeted toward the goal of recognizing vulnerability in the current policy relative to the issuance of both passports and uh, birth certificates. And there was no reference uh, to uh, potential problems with that uh, dual role continuing. So what is, what, what was the, the you, you mentioned a July report of the Inspector General. Does that reference the May of 2009 Government Accountability Office report? Uh, I'll have to take that as a question for and the... Who bears the responsibility for the cost associated with uh, providing uh, separate facilities? This would seem like a federal mandate on the localities if the municipal clerk offices have to provide separate staffing and separate facilities for the issuance of documents where no identified uh, problem has occurred previously. Well, when we say separate facilities, we don't literally mean a separate building. What but do you mean? We, but we do mean that a separate person has to issue a birth certificate from a person who issues a passport. But a separate facility within the same building? A, a separate facility well, could clarity literally on that mean issue, another window. Mr. Ambassador, clarity on that issue is pretty important. Relative to the efficient, secure, continued issuance of very important public documents. And these offices are typically supported by local taxpayers. And knowing what they're required to do by May 1st and what they're not required to do, I think is very, very important. So I would ask that you, know, you, you try to clarify this for us and give us a sound basis from which uh, the policy is being advanced, because I'm not convinced that it's, it's compelling. That is absolutely my commitment to you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Higgins. Thank you, Mr. Ambassador.